Well, so here's the thing. He is like level 200 and something, and he's uh -huh. bloodied, and I've seen him almost so solo the Queen Scorch Beast. Like, he's oh, pretty wow. good. See, that's what I'm talking about. My question. My question is, what's, stop, what's stopping him from dying, though? Because, you know, I like to have a full bar of health, and I still get injured quite a bit. I think he has, like, a lot of auto stim. He may not. I can't remember exactly. He was kind of telling me about everything. But his power armor... Your power armor and or your armor you're wearing could be, like, a, a lifesaver one, which, uh, whenever you die, you come back to life. Or, you know, it's kind of like the mystery savior, that's a card. But then you have another one, when you get low on health, it automatically gives you a skin pack. The only one I've seen him, like, really, really struggle with, when he was just kind of showing me um, some of the newer stuff, because I haven't played in a while. Well, I just started playing again. But uh, he was showing me the... Uh, Windigo, dude, and that thing's a pain in the ass. Like, even <laughs> both of us with our higher, with my higher level character, like, we just didn't have the ammo for it. That's what it came down to. Yeah. We're the time, man. Uh, we got it pretty far. Like, like, we got it about yeah. halfway, and then we were just like, we're waiting for ammo. Let's play. You know it is, too. I did not so, know that. Yeah, so after you get it down to like a third or something, it'll heal, so you have to kill it all the way again and again. Yeah, you need like, you need a few people on that one. And yeah. lots of uh, energy in it, it seems like it's a weak point. But, I did get like a ton of screws in that run. It was nice. Great spot to farm screws. Like, even if you don't have a full team, just run down there, kill all the baby windigos or whatever, and you loot like five to eight screws per body, so it'll get you up there quick. So I know a lot of good spots. You know, John and I have been playing this game for a minute. Alright. Uh, Wanna show me some? Because, like I said, I haven't played... Like, I bought the game when it very first came out. What are you after? Um, you probably got lots of missions to do too, right? Yeah, and I just got to level 50, so I just barely actually started getting the, uh, well, on this character, so I just barely started getting the real rare rewards and stuff. And the whip and yeah. everything, and the armor. Yeah, but I have almost a full set of Ultra Sight, I just need the helmet. Um, I have... Okay, sweet. And give you the plans for those, too. Yeah, because that's the only thing I needed was the Ultra Sight um, for that set. Like I said, I have quite a few Fusion Cores, so I'm not worried about that. Um, you should come, uh, <laughs> I'm actually on my base. That's a good spot to do it. And then, uh, it is. I had 23 was... Fusion Cores one morning when I, at 9 o'clock when it started. Right? And, uh, and uh, by that morning... Um, I was out of fusion, or that afternoon, around evening, I was out of fusion cords because that's all I did was use my, um, my laser gambling. You prime. And you only get, like, 240 shots per fusion cord. Well, if you don't mind, dude, I'll add you, uh, you have Fallout first, don't you? Because I'll grind you some fusion cores, I'll just give you some, it's stupid easy, and I usually just will go and dick around and do shit while I'm waiting for them to spawn back in. No man, uh, what I do, I only, I don't, I don't run around with a power suit, so I, I only do. need a couple just to make my, uh, ammo, one of my guns. That's about it, you know, uh, man, I wish 